You'd be surprised how many times I've seen, oh my God, I thought JoJo died. Like she's still out here. Yeah, bitch, I'm still here. Like From the age of six, I was like, I'm going to be a star. By the time I was 13, my song, Leave Get Out, went number one. From there, it was MTV. I opened up for Usher, that was my first tour. At 13, JoJo was the youngest solo artist to ever have a number one. How do you follow that? She does Too Little Too Late from the second album. She was going toe-to-toe -to -toe with massive records that year from Nelly Furtado to Justin Timberlake. She had the vocal chops, she had the star power, she had the personality to really become a global superstar, which she was on the path to becoming. I just felt like this is the beginning of the rest of my life. Prior to getting her record deal, JoJo and her mom lived a very modest, humble life. My label got my mom a car, got us an apartment. I had my own room for the first time. They felt like family to us. I think that that's what both my mom and I were really longing for deep down. Both of us come from very unstable, like family situations. And they really appealed to that within us, that we were creating something that was gonna last forever. The label moves us to New Jersey because the child labor laws are easier to get around. So, in retrospect, I realized what they did. They just wanted a piece of everything. Men were sent to my film and television agent's office to intimidate him. My agent was like, whoa, this is not what I signed up for. At a certain point, my label was no longer a functioning record label. They were getting sued left and right. I recorded hundreds of songs, wrote hundreds of songs. They didn't come out. And it felt like I was banging my head into a wall because I'm like, is anybody ever gonna hear this? It felt so insane. She was really stuck. That contract, they owned her voice. She was really in a place where she thought she was never going to sing again in a commercial way. Nobody can take this away from me. Like, how dare you? I had to make this work. For me, it was like, this is going to happen by any means necessary. This is what I want to do for the rest of my life. This is what I committed to when I was six years old. I became obsessed with making sure that I could get my career back on track. One, three, one, two, three. 2020. Yeah. Most artists would have long given up and just said, you know what, this is my luck. And I don't think Joe ever gave up.